Welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see very important questions in analog electronic circuits subject. So if you look at the syllabus of analog electronic circuits, the module 1 is on biasing of MOSFETs as well as BJT. Module 2 is of amplifier circuits in MOSFET and module 3 is feedback and power amplifier circuits and module 4 is op amp based applications like amplifiers and some oscillators and module 5 is of overview of power electronic circuits, thyristors, gate trigger circuits like that. So let us get into the important questions from each module for exam. So in module 1 you can see more of biasing in BJT and MOSFETs. So voltage divider bias, collector to base feedback resistor biasing is very important and derive the equation for IB and RPI for small signal source applied to the base terminal of the BJT and you will get a problem for sure in this module in question number 1 or 2 they will ask you to design the circuit like biasing circuit or some other problem will be there for sure one problem you need to answer in module 1 and coming to fourth question draw the small signal equivalent circuit model for MOSFET and obtain the expression for voltage gain this is a kind of derivation and explanation questions and different types of biasing in mass amplifier circuits this is also most of the times asked in the previous exams in uh, MOSFET and other subjects and voltage divider and collector to base bias feedback biasing also asked in many times and problem on biasing also very important in this module coming to module 2 module 2 is an amplifier circuits in MOSFET and you can see here derive the expression for gain for a common source amplifier this common source amplifier is again a very important concept this question will be sure for exam so otherwise if they not ask the derivation they may ask problem and the second question if you see in module 2 explain high frequency response of a common source amplifier or the low frequency response of a common source amplifier can be asked and problems on common source amplifier or common gate amplifier and common drain amplifier also they may ask problem can be any type of problem they may ask here I have shown common gate amplifier with these data here we need to find the overall gain of this amplifier and fourth one explain the working and characteristics parameters of source follower and the next question is explain the working of FET based phase shift oscillator this is an oscillator question so these are the few important questions in module 2 here also one problem will be there for sure in exam and coming to module 3 module 3 is on feedback amplifier and output stages and power amplifiers so starting with feedback different types of feedbacks and their properties with respect to negative feedback properties of negative feedback is also important you might have studied in previous semesters also so types of feedback is very important here you need to write the circuit for each and every feedback and their characteristics you need to explain and write with the neat diagram and equation explain feedback topologies like series shunt amplifier shunt shunt amplifier like this you can get a question on feedback and coming to class a class b class a b amplifier you will get one question on these three class a can be asked or class b or class a b amplifier will be asked many times in the previous exams also ask this question and coming to fourth question define power amplifier and list the types of power amplifier based on the location of q point conduction angle and frequency and the next question is prove the maximum conversion efficiency of class a class b amplifiers for 50 percent and 78.5 percent likewise you will get questions in module 3 and coming to module 4 module 4 is of op amp circuits and some a to d d to a converters so derive the expression for output voltage of a binary weighted resistor type DAC or R to 2 R DAC ladder network so these are the questions again asked many times in exams and SAR type ADC is also very important here you need to explain by taking some example it is better to explain with a value and coming to the third question it is on low pass filter and high pass filters so here they may ask to explain the second order low pass filter or high pass filter or they may ask to design the first order or second order filters there will be a problem on this question for sure and explain the operation of monostable multi vibrator using this triple five timer and explain the working of small signal half wave rectifier this is from module 4 
coming to module 5 you can see SCR VI characteristics of SCR static anode cathode characteristics of SCR is important explain in general overview of power electronic systems can be asked explain natural and forced communication with any diagram explain the working of resistance firing circuit explain the basic operation of UJT firing circuit so these are few important questions I have listed out you may get problems in each and every module and also you need to study other topics for better scoring and in all the modules circuit expression explanation is very much important here the marks will be divided for circuit separately expressions and explanation and these are the very important questions in AEC thank you